Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a very random, very surprising thing of surprises. I'm Qso78, the blah, 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 blah. And, um, <clears throat> we, have an, we have a little world for you. It's not so much a world as it is a, uh... Well, we'll just, just, just look. Yes. It might look like a fish. Actually, it actually does kind of look like a fish, which is even more awesome. But, uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the star sh uh, starship, spaceship, something. It's a spaceship, that's all you need to know. And it was created by YouTuber PirateCheese13, who I have known for quite some time. He's been a, a, an avid um, fan and commenter of wit and hilarity. And he's made a spaceship for us. For the clan and all of its glory. And here we go, we're gonna go up in the tractor beam here. Ooh, black sheep, hello. <clears throat> and let's just hop over here into the marvelous Invisobill elevator that tractor beams are. And let's check this place out. Okay. So, you wanna come over to here and welcome to the, st the Starship Duck. That's what it is. Have a nice day. Oh, well, thank you. That was very polite of you. Customs, please. Blah, oopsies. <laughs> uh, warning, restricted area. I don't think there's actually anything of importance down here. It's just an area of restriction. Okay. Yes, that was right. Anywho, this is the custom. Blah, you're ruining the fun of it. So you put your crap in there, and you push it, and you go through customs, and you pick up your items. Level 2 check in. Uh, this customs office staff only. Secret floor safe for your shotgun in case someone is a creeper, a spider, a zombie, or Donald because he's a traitor. No Donald, because he's a traitor. So let's go to level two, the first real deal level here, and we've got these things called maintenance, and I'll just show this off. It, it, I mean, to, for our purpose, or my purpose, or whoever's purpose, um, this really does nothing, but it's just lots and lots and lots of redstone, and all that fun stuff, uh, I mean, it, it is what it is, it's maintenance, it's the, uh, the part you're not supposed to see, I guess when he got bored he would just sit here, and sp Bam, the clicky button. Yes, the clicky button. Not the not the right mouse, but the clicky button. Starboard forward. Okay, we'll get into all this later. Let's go back to where Weesh was. Because each level has, a, like, an entrance to the maintenance area. But, yes. Okay, yeah, there's nothing over there. Pop this open. Man, this took him, he said, three weeks. And it's totally awesome. Like, it just, it, I was blown away the first time I saw this. You got your living quarters, and this is the engineer staff only, so we're going to break the rules. You got all these buckets of lava, buckets of lava, buckets of lava, buckets of lava. Put fuel in main warp drive. Let's put some fuel in the main warp drive, see what happens. I'm pretty sure nothing happens, but, you know what, we're going to do it anyway. Just because we can. Boop. Boop. Yeah. Totally going into warp drive right now. Good job. We're definitely warping and we're driving. Maybe let's go on the top. Nope. Uh, instantly, you shouldn't really expect it to do anything. So we're going to go into the starboard wing. Maintenance down there. And again down there. But here, you have a nice little turret. Which is pretty awesome. Got your snowballs and you got your, you got your, uh, eras. That's what they call the eras. And the, uh, mm, no. There we go. And the port wing is just the same thing, so we don't really need to check that out. You know, but we're going to check it out anyway, because we can. And we will. Beep, beep, doop. So, yeah, this is put fuel in port impulse drive. Lots of terms and stuff. More turrets. More maintenance. Although there, there's like lava you can put in there. I think. Not nah, poop. 
poop balls. Balls of poo. Oh, yeah, got success. So this is the check-in. Whoa. Very rude, Mr. Check-in. There's a massive hole. That's the tractor beam. Actually, that says tractor beam right there. I don't know if you can see it. I think that says tractor beam. You can flip that on or off. I'm gonna flip it on. I believe that's on now. Who knows? Uh, what else is there on the second floor? Floor de segunda. That's more maintenance. It's the same. Basically, they all lead to uh, level two, as you can see. We were here before. So we're gonna leave now. And, uh, Captain at Helm. So I guess when that's on, we're in. Poop. Wait, what did it say? This is the bridge. This is where all the thingy-mabobs and the doodads happen. So let's see. I actually flipped them all on because I just finished, like, looking at all this. Ooh, what a nice night. Nemo Latin. <laughs> Nemo the fish. You found him! Scottish accent mode! That was not a Scottish accent mode, but it's okay. You really don't want to know. Oh, we do. Nothing too important. Stay off! Okay, anywho. The hounds. We'll turn off the hounds. <laughs> Defense turret. God damn it! <laughs> that was pretty weighty. Got, got our OnStar. Yeah, we're gonna leave all these switches on. We don't want to be playing. We might be captain of this vessel, but the co-captain knows more about what we're going on. Galaxy. E-brake. The floating lever. It's always very important. The port impulse. And the phases. The yellow alert. Just a button. That's good. That's good to know that we have, like, buttons to test your ability to, like, touch buttons. Which, obviously, I don't do very well. Port forward. Henson station. Starboard forward. Navigator station. Nice starry night. We're in space! That was unnecessary. Those uh, those sounded like the voice acting skills. Things. <laughs> those sounded like the voice acting skills of Paper Mario Guy. And we are we are nowhere near as talented as Paper Mario Guy when it comes to uh, voice acting. For sound. Well, sound effect acting with his voice. Red alert. I mean, that's technically red no matter what. Unless you consider that yellow alert. Because then it's never yellow alert. A nice radio. Shields. Shields. Normal gadgets. Out of order. Nothing is normal in this starship. Professor gadgets. Inspector's gadgets. Thingamajigger. Someone got lazy. Primary doodad. That's very important, the primary doodad. The most important doodad. Secondary doodad. Not as important. Other stuff. And then some more stuff. And mostly useless. So it's safe to say all that maintenance was used to have a bunch of signs say funny words. So definitely, definitely worth it. Pirate cheese. Definitely worth it. Alright, there's more maintenance. Some nice pictures. Keep everyone happy. On to the level 3 living quarters. Uh, I think, that, yeah, this is more maintenance. Yar. Maintenance, maintenance of Maintenington. Lord Maintenington, level 3 living quarters. 1 through 2. And then level 13, the guest. I don't get why. There's one guest room. Actually, there's two. Nice. Is, is this a toilet or is this a sink? Is this drinking water or a toilet? I'm not sure. But if it's a toilet, we might want to wash our feet. Human storage unit 13. This is a nice human storage unit. I mean, it could be worse. There could be just dead bodies in here. That'd suck. Special guest room. <laughs> that sounds very evil. This looks like a pretty special. Yeah, this a better be a special. Ooh, what is. What, what did I do? Broom closet. It's a broom. <laughs> uh, 
I'm kind of curious as to what this does. There's something back. Aha! Secret, th secret torture chamber. Oh my! I actually didn't know about this beforehand. It's very dark. Why is it so dark? We use the light. Dun dun dun! Torture chamber. We got all these pigs here, being tortured. Actually, you know what? Let's take now. Nah, well, not. Let's not. Well, we'll we'll save that for the end. I guess. I presume we got some stuff to look. Oh, poop. Okay. Let's take a nap. You can always. There we go. I was gonna say it is nighttime. Don't lie to me, Sky. Oh, whoa. Totally zoned out for a second. So hello, night or daytime. I missed you. Okay, so, we saw the special guest, week, week, not not say no more. Let's go level 1 through 2. These are all basically the same. 12th room. 12th room. They're kind of just a little bit roomier than the human, sto human storage unit. They're all basically the same thing. Room 11. Nice window. Room 6. Keep in mind, guys, this is where you guys live. Anyone that is associated with... The clan of the Dirk. We'll have to spend at least some time on here. And obviously you got, you know, your higher-ups. And then you got your captain's quarters. Let's see what we're dealing with. Ooh, we have a nice toilet. Or drinking water. I don't, I'm not, not too sure what that is yet. What is this? Well, it's nice. It's like a deck. Nice view. Look at the starry goodness, or cloudy goodness, massive cloud, hello. Okay, onward. I just phased through the door like a ghost. God damn. I'm not good at walking through doors. I know walk well, door good, bad. Bad door. Okay. On to the last level, I believe. Lots of lava. I guess this is our main energy supply. Something or other. Fourth floor, dance floor, cafeteria. We'll go in there later. Line up here to get down. Or line up here just to get down. Let's see what he did there. Absolutely no spleefing. Damn. I wanted to spleef. Got your jukebox, but we have nothing for that. Some fish. No. Some cake. No. Or some bacon! Give me your bacon! I want more of it! More bacon! So delicious! Let's get some extra cake just to, just to be safe. I'm just gonna eat that fish, because that fish is not worthy. And you know, we're gonna put cake on the dance floor. Do you know why? Because we can. And who doesn't want to dance on cake in the first place? I know, I want to dance all over this cake. This is some delicious cake. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be real with y'all. What's in here? More maintenancey kinds of things. I guess this is like getting all the dispensers working. Okay. Cake punch. Absolutely no spleefing. Ha! That's what I say to your spleefery. I was going to this room. Oh, hi, Caboose. It's a trap. Damn it! Right, we have to speed through this because we got like 10 minutes. Uh, like, not a lot of time. Okay. Last but not least, we have the top floor air hatch ODST observatory. One, two, three, one, two. This is where it may get a bit asymmetrical. I don't know what this button does. I guess I was supposed to come here first. Anywho, yeah. So, you look out there. It's nice and pretty. Look at all the prettiness. 
living outside. This place is pretty damn awesome, and I'll link you guys up and all that fun stuff because it's a cool place to be on the yard. Here we go. Go, go, go! Ooh.